Welcome back. This is What Are You Saying? Hashtag ways, and we're talking about coronavirus and how it's affecting Nigeria's economy. Our second guest is Tunji Andrews, and he is the lead economist at Time, Trade and Commodities, TTAC Africa, and the European Union consultant in Nigeria under the EU Sifiga project. He is a financial literacy advocate, macroeconomics thought leader, and a renowned media personality. Remember, you can join the conversation, tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or Waysho Africa One with the hashtag Waze or SMS 081 803 You can also watch repeat broadcasts on Mondays, Saturdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. Welcome, Tunji. It's great to have you on the show. Great to have, great to be here. Great to be here. <laughs> great to have me. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I was going to do that. Yeah. It, it happens once That's in a while. Okay. Yeah, he's always on that <laughs> other on side. That side yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And much. like I said to Rotas, our guest earlier, like you know, I've heard your voices on the radio, so it's it's great to now finally put a face to to, to the voice. Okay, okay. Good, good. <laughs> yes, good, and good. I find that half the time when I hear their voices on the radio. I'm in my car thinking, yeah, but why don't you consider this other? And I'm talking to them, but they can't hear me. Wow. So it's okay, nice. So it's good. It's good. Let's do this now. Now you now. can ask the question. Exactly. Yes, right. awesome. exactly. Cool okay, stuff. so Timmy, so, you like to go first, right? Yes. Um, again, the Nigerian economy, um, I'm a finance person, so I'm kind of passionate about these things and, mm -hmm. you know, how um, it impacts um, humanity, you know, sustainable development, infrastructure, right. etc. So this is China. Um, Nigeria is one of Nigeria's biggest trade um, partners, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to in, um, imports, right? And they've had this slowdown in economy. They've had this, you know, elephant in the room, which is coronavirus. So what does it mean for Nigeria economically? What does it mean, the impact of the outbreak? What should we be looking for? How can we try to mitigate, you know, the downside, if there's anything like that? Um, so there are multiple angles to this. Um, I, I want to start, I think there's, we should start with the economy basically uh, from uh, where Rotus left off. Um, first of all, it, it's without a doubt, we are heavily reliant on FX from um, crude oil, which of course is hitting the downslide at, because of course the energy demands are reducing. Exactly. And um, general demand every, from everything is reducing across the world. So yeah. generally, because of course we do not have um, a very diversified revenue source as a country, it's largely going to be an issue for Nigeria as it is right now. Um, but also there is on, on the reverse where you look at issues of domestically in the economy in Nigeria here, if for instance the coronavirus were to spread in yeah. Uh, levels of Iran in Nigeria mm. um, at this particular time, then you want to know that while of course we are very good at, or at least we, we are beginning to be very good at being able to curb and um, uh, you know drastically reduce the spread of such mm -hmm. outbreaks. No, but at least we've done well with Ebola. We did, we're doing we did well, well. Yeah. with Ebola, yes. with, um, with the corona. <laughs> my, my mind boggles to think of a situation whereby we have a full-scale outbreak. Okay. Absolutely. What and do I do not understand what is going to happen. I was yeah. I was in South Africa when the case of the right. Italian man came into Nigeria, and I was, I was just thinking all sorts of things. Thinking, Should I, I come back? back? <laughs> Should I stay? You know. Um, Can you do the same thing? <laughs> but when I came, when I came into the uh, country yeah. um, at the airport, uh, they had thermal scanners at the airport okay. uh, and they were you know, checking everybody. Yeah. So that, that, was, that is something that you know that at least we might not have an outbreak. But if we do, we're pretty much in rubble. If you know what I mean, um, it, it, I, I don't want us. To, I don't want us to get there, but it, it's important that we curb it before it is spread. Absolutely, because I, I agree. there are too many things to go wrong. Is it Very the markets? True. Is it the schools? Is it the hospitals? Exactly. Is it we don't the, have enough of. Oh my! You know, you just don't want to think of the multiplier Very effect true. of what can happen That's in Nigeria at this particular time. So let's just keep it the way it is. Yeah. But mm -hmm. as an economy. We we grew our um, probably highest growth in in maybe say two years in in the last quarter, last and quarter. this is this is exciting for a lot of people. That's uh, but it's still very below what we should be growing at, yes. and uh, unemployment is at a high rate. 
China cannot just go through what they are going through right now. I, yeah. I mean, China has their problems, but we need to speak to China. China, you fix your problems. Well yes, yes, <laughs> you need to get well because we need you. Um, so it's it's a situation whereby we need the rest of the world to get their acts in order, or sooner rather than later, mm -hmm. Nigeria is going to be in seri in a serious mess. But you know, you know, when you say China needs to get well soon, and obviously then um, amplifies how dependent we are mm -hmm. on China and. At what point do we get to the the place where you know something happens in China and we're not thinking we're toast? You know what? what it's going to take a lot of time because um, diversification of your revenue base is not something you do in one day. It's not something you do with two hundred naira. It's something you do. Um, Saudi Arabia has been trying to diversify its economy for a while right now, and it's about billions and billions of dollars, yes. and it's still on that journey hmm. of diversifying its revenue sources. And I might say. It's revenue sources are even far more diversified than Nigeria yeah, yeah, is yeah, right now. So they're they still spending a lot of money to try and diversify their, their, their revenue sources. So you want to look at it from the basis of, and you know, it's one thing to be saying we're doing it and spending money and walking towards yes. it. It's another thing to actually be serious about what we're saying. Yeah, exactly. You know, it, it, it's. It doesn't feel we're, we're saying some of the right we're things, talking, but we're not. We're talk, talking, but not no, walking exactly. towards it. Yeah. Um, I, I was in. Like I told you, I was in SA. Yes. Um, I did a bit of an extensive tour around the country. Right. And, you know, it was amazing, right? They were trying to sell South Africa to me and they were saying, uh, this is what we do. And then we were going, and the tour guide says, oh, by the way, you can't go there because that place, there's a lot of crime in that place. And I kept thinking to myself, hello. <laughs> but Nigeria is not like that. Yeah. But these guys have taking charge of their narrative and they've been able to continue to push yeah. what they want to push irrespective yeah. of everything that is That's going on. Okay. So you look at Nigeria and think, we're not even pushing the right narrative, mm -hmm. whether we're doing mm -hmm. or not doing. You get mm -hmm. so exactly. you kind of feel we're not serious. And I find that this diversification, we've been talking about it to uh, my mind for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Yara, exactly. Yara, Let's diversify Jonathan. the economy and nothing. We know yeah. how to say Seems the right things, to be happy. Write your so paper. A colleague was saying to me that when he was growing up, that yeah. his dad used to you know, do some mining activities and mm -hmm. export cocoa and everything. Mm -hmm. And somewhere in the southwest, they used to go mine diamonds. And in the process, they'll find silver and they'll just throw it away. Like I'm talking about like in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And like, no, who needs silver? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know we had diamond silver in the 70s. No, we do. Like we do. Lots of things, iron ore, um, ajalkuta so never have, worked, we never have took the natural off. resources and things everything. That we could but, actually we're just, do, but we're all so I, focused I think it's, on food I think it's oil. somebody that is, what um, is going on? Um, a friend of mine, uh, Otumba Alatiche, he was saying that. You know, we're so blessed with mineral resources that literally they're parts of Nigeria. And he was, just, he was speaking figuratively, yeah. like you could take a rake and just rake the mineral resources. Yeah. That you don't you really need to do much. Blessed, yeah. um, but again, I feel, I feel, and this is the real, you know, talk behind mm -hmm. it. It's easier to just look at oil. You know, it takes a lot of thinking to be able to yeah. develop your economy. Yeah. It takes a lot of thinking for you to be able to look at the economy and say, what are we not sweating? Mm -hmm. We need to play the long game. In Nigeria here, political circles are two years max. Once after two years, you start thinking of the next election. election. Yeah. So you're not really around. thinking about developing the economy. And that's the circle we've been trapped in for a number of years. So it, it does, I don't think, we have no. So, I, so we have. coronavirus is about to teach us a lesson if we're not careful. I I want to believe that we'll contain it. I really hope so. So too. can we digress a bit mm -hmm. to the market woman, the local woman? Yeah, the micro, yeah. the the the, the so petty trader. The petty trader. How yes. will this outbreak affect them economically? It better not break out. <laughs> It better not, that's just <laughs> what I need that's to say. Need it to better say. not break but out because if it if does, we were to break out, what, 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 what could we? First of all, see? we can easily tell that the markets will be closed, and a lot of these people is. live on a day-to-day -day day -to -day basis. Yes. yes. Um, so that that's that's for an extended period. Is, that's so you like, know that if after a period of time yeah. they can't come out, they'll be forced to start doing some stuff on the side, which will make the vibe. So it better not break out. That. I'm trying not to create the scenario because yes. it's just Please like create the scenario. you know because because yes. no okay so what you what you need to do is just walk what through we walk are through to expect. and you want to look at the reason why it's it's spread quickly in China. Okay. China has similar environments to 
what you would see in a downtown Akobo, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. where people walk in, too many people in clusters in one yeah, small exactly. place. Um, you, if it happens, then you, you're talking thousands, close to a million in a short period of time. And that means economic activity is gone. Yeah. That means they, they, they don't have health insurance, so let's even forget about, that. forget about that. So we're talking about multiple debts. Lagos State can do what it can, but how many For people how can many it? People? Yeah. Absolutely. It better so not economically break Economically and um, socially. So we all just really need to you know, support Lagos. And Whatever Lagos sure needs to do right now, down. just keep it on, on the wrap so it doesn't mm -hmm. spread. That guy, that uh, the Italian that I said, they said was um, caught or uh, was uh, seen to have uh, the virus. Mm -hmm. They were saying he wanted to escape. Whatever they need to do to keep him comfortable. <laughs> they do should it. do it. Yeah. Please, Lagos so, State. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So what do you keep think is happy. the long-term um, impact of this um, outbreak on education? Education is a mess. That's Nigeria. the education sector. Already. Education Correctly. is a mess. Uh, Already. Uh, it's so. Um, and it first of all, first happens. of all, you want to look at the fact that we have an educational system that is teaching, that is preparing people for jobs of yesterday, not jobs of tomorrow. The future. Mm -hmm. uh, not even. Let's even leave today. Tomorrow is not preparing for tomorrow. <laughs> so the future it's, 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 <laughs> it's it's um it's it's a mess. Um, the coronavirus in itself is going to affect schools. Schools yeah. are going to shut down if it does break out. If it's out. not contained. Um, later. In fact, I mean, I was in SA. I told, I told my wife, I was like, don't let the kids go to school. That's exactly what I was saying. As in, that I, the government hasn't asked us to shut down school but, but she, already. I'm you know, already yeah. so she I had to go like, yeah, you're, you're, you're yeah. getting to, you know, paranoid. Um, paranoid, But exactly. yes, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not the only parent who's worried. Yeah, because no, a school for what a school is. Yeah. If you've ever had children be in school, you know that from time to time you've had, yep. you had flu uh, from the school. Yeah. Exactly. From time exactly. to time you've either had measles yep. from the school. Exactly. So exactly. you know the Taking school box. is a place. So shouldn't that be where we start from actually? Shutting down the schools. Mm. Uh, Without being sentiment, so I know that we don't want to. So you don't want to. You don't. Yeah, exactly. That's what you don't want to do. But well, if truth, that happens, the schools will shut down. Teachers will not be paid. That's no, another ripple effect. I understand, but economy. Economy. it's better for the teachers not to pay for a shorter term than to have, yeah. you know, a, a worse. Break. Yes, exactly. I understand. So I, I want to believe that if he gets to that level, um, where a lot of people test what level? positive and oh. you know a lot of people <laughs> right oh. now we just have one person you know <laughs> that has been we better not have a lot of people you know, that's what i'm and saying we just hope not you know let's right? just keep it we let's just, just keep just it under wraps but for now um i don't think the children should stay at home yet um I hope not. Um, it's so worrisome. And you know, you're getting in Uber, you're getting on BRT, you're just, All sorts. you know, like this. But thing. you know what, what's interesting about this though is how people are finding an opportunity. So as we say, the economy is probably, you know, being hit by this. Some people are finding an opportunity to make money. Mm -hmm. So sanitizer sellers, um, hand wash sellers, then when they mask sell, sellers. Yeah. When they sell the batch, they yeah. have what next? So so I heard, I heard um, <laughs> somebody put up this, um, an economist said something on Twitter, yes. and he was like, uh, realistically, hand sanitizer is in high demand, and that because of the fact that there's a high demand, it, the, the price supply chain has been disrupted, so yeah. that's why this guy's okay. expensive. Mm -hmm. I don't buy it. Um, I don't buy it. Um, it's, first of all, hand sanitizer should be one of the cheapest things around, because Currently. of course it's just 70% alcohol, which is actually dirt cheap. Yeah. Um, just and you can make period. it in your house, really. Um, can we now? With Tell us. And water. <laughs> it is alcohol at the end of the day. Um, and alcohol seems to be cheaper than hand sanitizers right now. It is, it is, really. It, and in fact, the problem is hand sanitizers, even if you look at the components of hand sanitizers, it is. It talks about the fact that it kills 99.9% .9 germs, oh. telling you that it is not There's entire. Like 0 0.11. Yes, yes. Okay. So you can, you, you even have a better chance with just pure alcohol than using hand sanitizer. Yeah. So are you I, telling us to get alcohol? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. We, had, we had a doctor on the show. We had yeah. actually two doctors on the show mm -hmm. yesterday, and they, they said alcohol is not part of it.
-hmm. So I, I, no, I, but that's I, alcohol I, in terms of ingesting drinking. So people yes. think that it's no, no, drink no. As in, I'm talking about no, okay, okay, for the hand, yeah, the actual conversation. But, but you know, even the conversation is, mm. it's even wash your hands. You know, yeah, hand yes, with soap and water, yeah. soap. Stay if, hydrated. If nobody's buying hand sanitizers, they will stop selling it for nineteen. I agree. So, I almost bought face masks. Was that real? I saw a picture on social. Nineteen thousand. Yeah, yeah, that was real. So I know the FCCPC. That's the Federal Consumer. Protection right, Council yeah. mm -hmm. has moved in and they released okay, a statement. That's good. Uh, the, the head, uh, Babatude Rikara, uh, recently made some communication con as concerns this. Uh, so there are stores that are doing this and taking oh advantage my. of this. It is ridiculous because if you look at it, you know, check out if, if it spreads. Nobody will come into your store. Exactly. You know, it's absolutely silly. It's so silly. Yeah. But we don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. But you know that's the Nigerian brain. That's Nigerian yeah. brain. Just quick. And this let's is just make this quick bug now. This is, not the this this is, is us. us. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Pretty much, pretty much. Okay, so, so okay. just as we round up, you know, yeah. what would you want to leave uh, viewers with today in terms of, you know, preparedness, you know, how do they mitigate effects? Well, policymakers, for instance, what do they need to start to do? I, I'm not. I'm not really worried about a policymakers because okay. at the end of the day, I'm not sure they're going to do anything. <laughs> um, but that's um, very honest. <laughs> the as concerns the average Nigerian, I right. think um, the place to be is just understand the virus, understand how it spreads. It has uh, roughly around one percent uh, mortality, mortality rate. rate. So Which is good. it's comforting not to yes, hear. It's, it's it's not comforting. You don't want to be one of those two people, you know that Oh no we uh, don't. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, but you contrary know contrary to what we thought it was. If if you think about it in the in, in the real sense of it, yeah. it's um, it just speaks to the fact that every Nigerian needs to have some sort of health insurance right now. Mm. Uh, because Which doesn't come cheap. you know you don't want to treat yourself at home right now. Yeah, exactly. You know, if, you feel, if you feel symptoms, you want to isolate from yourself and yes. your family and quickly go quickly. into a hospital. That's true. Yes. You know, and the reason why we don't go into hospitals as Nigerians is because you don't you, you don't want to pay out of pocket. You exactly. Don't have money. Absolutely. You know, so it just calls to mind all those things and calls to mind how our economy is not working as it should be. But understand how it works you know wash your hands regularly yeah. um, if you can't afford hand sanitizers you know get some alcohol you know yeah and find you know youtube they'll tell you how they'll to tell do you how to do exactly <laughs> thank you of, thank you Tunji. and i feel the need to add very strongly that please educate yourself and educate the people around you i find mm. that there's a lot of fake news going exactly. around about yeah. 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 Exactly. you know Thanks just that, just okay. please educate yourself at least this time there's properly. no put salt in water and bath with it <laughs> but the poor guy that his picture was making the rounds about driving the um, italian guy yes, from the airport you know, you know that was he very bad he could have been yeah absolutely so please educate yourself and the people yeah. around you mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. hopefully we'll come out of this yeah. on the other Absolutely. side smiling. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Just about one month more if we can Weather it yeah. is. We <laughs> hope we it hope. is yeah. one month. Yeah. We really yeah. hope it is yeah. one counting. month. Counting. We're counting March down. Yeah. <laughs> counting down. Fingers crossed. And in you God, in God we trust. <laughs> Countdown. <laughs> Day one. <laughs> I agree. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so thank you, Tunji. Um, thank you, ladies. Thank and it's you. been a pleasure having to join the show. Thank so, you. absolutely. Viewers at home, you can also watch the repeat broadcast, as I said, on Mondays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 3 p.m. It's been an insightful session with Tunji and Rotus. Please keep the conversations on our social media platforms as we continue to hear what you are saying. In case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Our global economy is much more fragile than we realize. Enjoy the rest of your week, evening and your weekend, or as the week comes. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs>